On today's menu, a recipe so delicious and aromatic, it's all you need. Jackfruit rice with ginger oil. Le Homa, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This is a bit of a plant-based version of a childhood classic. Let's begin. Saucepan, half cup grapeseed or avocado oil. Medium heat. Heat up the oil for four to five minutes. About 40 grams of ginger, finely chopped. Seems like a lot of green onions, but man, it's going to cook down and add so much flavor into that oil. Four sticks of green onion, finely chopped. Pestle and mortar. Quarter teaspoon salt. Coarsely crushed the green onions and ginger. Now this particular set here is made out of granite and we'll be pouring the hot oil into here. So be sure you're using one that can withstand that kind of heat. Stick a bamboo chopstick in the oil. If you see a lot of fast moving bubbles, it's ready. Very carefully pour the oil onto the green onions and ginger. Stir. Pour the ginger oil into the serving bowl. One cup jasmine rice. Rinse and drain the rice to get rid of the excess starch. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. No need to rinse out that saucepan, there's still some good oil in there. Garlic. Rice. Two teaspoons, toasted sesame oil. Medium heat. Saute for one to two minutes. Two tablespoons soy sauce. One cup water. Stir. Turn the heat to medium-high. When the water starts to bubble, give it a good stir, then cover and cook for 15 minutes on medium-low. Man, that rice is smelling so incredibly fragrant already. By the way, this recipe is actually one of the recipes in the Cook with Confidence cookbook. Of course, to take a sneak peek inside the book or to find out more information about the Vegan Ramen Cookbook, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check those books out or to order your signed copies. Squeeze out the water to about 300 grams of jackfruit.
season the jackfruit with some salt and pepper to taste. Mix. After 15 minutes, turn the heat off and let the rice steam further for another 10 minutes. Plate the jackfruit. Slice in half a handful of cherry tomatoes. Roughly chop about 100 grams of cucumber. Sometimes I seriously feel like a kid on Christmas Day. Fluff the rice. Optionally, you can pack the rice into a small container as a mold. Garnish with some freshly chopped cilantro and you're ready to serve. You can now enjoy this unique recipe with absolute confidence. Man, you will not believe how full of flavor this is. Like I always say, that is an explosion of flavor. This really reminds me of my childhood. You have that rice that is so packed with amazing flavors with the saltiness from the soy sauce the really nice garlicky flavor from the sauteed garlic, get a little bit of that toasty flavor from toasting the rice. That soy sauce also gives it a little bit of umami. The toasted sesame oil is so incredibly fragrant and you enjoy the rice with the cilantro that gives it a little bit more aromatic flavor as well. The rice in itself has such deep flavors and then you go in and enjoy it with the ginger green onion oil and it literally brings it to the next level. It's just layers and layers of flavor, cucumbers and the freshness from those juicy, delicious cherry tomatoes. They add the sweetness and acidity that contrasts with kind of like that delicious deep dark flavors from the ginger oil and the soy sauce rice. And of course you have the jackfruit that, I mean, visually looks fantastic. When you enjoy that jackfruit with the rice and the ginger green onion oil, Man, those textures and flavors are seriously bomb. The ginger adds a little bit of heat and the green onions because there was so much of it in that oil, it really gives it this kind of pungent onion flavor. Such a unique dish. I guarantee you, you will absolutely love this. I mean, seriously, the aroma and the fragrance that this dish gives off is so delightful, it already makes it worth making this dish. Absolutely love it. By the way, if you love easy and delicious recipes like me, then definitely check out that Vegan Ramen Cookbook or the Cook with Confidence Cookbook. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check these out, take a sneak peek, or to order your signed copy. As always, remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.